Yeah. I was like, oh man, ah. my eyes instantly started watering, like, like, like somebody had pulled all of my nose hairs out of my nose. Run. And it was kind of like burning. It kind of like burned a little bit. Yeah. But. And George just said that she was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not that bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was again. Yeah. It's all. <laughs> I gotta hear. I gotta hear what Mama's response to her test, her testing, test being done. She was so adamant about. <laughs> she was so adamant about not ever being tested. I know, right? <laughs> you know, get it done. You know, I ain't never got tested. I'm like, now, mom, you ain't got no excuse not to come to wife. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real, you didn't do I just show my. I just show my own um, shot papers. <laughs> it only matters if you got vaccinated here in Hawaii. Well, that's dumb. Yeah, I don't know Hawaii. It's, it's, you can only do that exception if you've been vaccinated here. Oh, hey, so I'm drinking coffee this morning, right? But the other day, Deanna, one of her um, co-workers gave her this package of the most expensive coffee in the world. It sells for like, it sells for like, some places like $60 a cup. Um. It's called Kopi Luau, Luar, or something like that. But what it stands for is, it's, the nickname is Cat Poop Coffee. <laughs> I've heard of that. I've heard of something. I heard of how they make it. They, I've seen that on Discovery Channel. Yeah, and it's like, but because it, it's in over there in Indonesia, it's the civets. They, um, they eat the cherries, the coffee cherries. And then the seeds will go through their system and like ferment in their system and then they'll poop it out. And then people go by and collect them, wash them up and clean them and everything and then roast them. And it gives a, it makes that coffee like extra strong. It makes made you burp like that? No. <laughs> it made, it it made that coffee taste extra, like poop. extra strong. <laughs> it don't taste like poop though. I was like, huh. Oh. Does it give you superpowers? Does it give you super strength or anything? Yes, it gives you, you get a 0.5 increase on your strength and mind bending abilities. That ain't enough. $60 a cup. $60 a cup, that ain't enough. But see, they they just gave, like Deanna got it for free. Hmm. Her people that she worked for has, they have a lot of connections. Oh, so y'all just to connect the household over there. No, not really. No, I didn't. Not Zero really. dark 30 and her people got connections. <laughs> Mr. And Mrs. Mr. And Mrs. Smith face ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Hey. Oh man. So on our football team this year, like this for the I'm doing um a uh, flag again. Because they nobody out here has an eight U um, tackle football team. Move them up, move them up to nine. I don't know if he's ready for nine. <laughs> these boys move out here, these, these boys out here, big nine year olds walking around looking like JoJo. <laughs> if he if he ain't ready, he'll get ready. Trust me. <laughs> oh, hey, no, that might. Hey, the boys out here, the boys out here in Hawaii, they they something serious. So this this whole um, year. I'm gonna be working with him. I got all I got all his um like the equipment, his strength, his strength equipment and bands and stuff. And I'm just gonna be working on his his footwork, his speed, and um what position you gonna focus on? I want him, I want him, I want him to focus on um, running back. Cause he has like a natural instinct. He has that natural like instinct for running back. And mm-hmm. also he I want to put him at safety. Yeah, I was gonna say choose two positions. Yeah, running back, running back and safety, because I do he natural ball hawk as well. And he got the speed and the instincts to to play both positions. So um yeah I got all his stuff and we're about to build a gym in our backyard. So we have like some like weight bench and all that good stuff too. So we'll be out there out there working this season. So yeah. But yeah last like the spring the spring league that we played in 
our team went undefeated and we got like silver in the um, playoffs. We got second place in the playoffs. But um, our team was tiny. And we only had like five or six out of eight players that were had the ability to do anything. We had a practice on Friday. Well, these these kids, these kids are something special. The parents, I asked parents before we came out, like, do y'all know that any of y'all kids have any of y'all kids ever played football? And they were like, no. Most of them were like, no, my kids never played football. But I'm out there. Um, our quarterback from last year, I had him um, calling routes and tell, and the players running it. And all the new kids knew all the routes and they were running them perfect. I'm like, what is <laughs> YouTube? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what are y'all this doing? The, the YouTube generation, they pick up on everything. And some of these kids, two of these kids got arms, like hands down, they're throwing like they're throwing about 40 yards. Boom. I'm like, y'all are eight. Y'all are going to the third grade. But Joe still Joe is still the fastest. He ain't faster than me. He might give you a run for your money. Speaking of fast, y'all going to the um go see um uh, Tamara's son. Yeah. Yeah, man. Eight. He's running he's running in Jacksonville at UNF for the um junior Olympics on the 26th, I think. 26? Yeah. No, I don't think I'd be. <laughs> What's that, that's next weekend? Yeah, that's a Monday. 26. You look like a Monday. 26 definitely is a Monday. Yeah. Oh, no. Like Monday. Nope. <laughs> You're like, yo. <laughs> what they do, man, what they do. It's your boy Joe back again. Episode 30. Episode 30. Yeah. Like, 3 0. You know what it is, man. Oh, 30. Y'all, you know, jump on YouTube and like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the bell. Yeah, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Check, check your personalized settings on your bell and make sure it's on off so that you can get everything that we drop when we drop something. Because you know we're going to drop something every week. Every week. Like, Hundred and a hundred, fellas. What's going on? This I like that shirt, my brother. Yeah, you know how to rip. Go like yard, shirt, my brother. Go, Go yard. Follow yeah. IG. Yes, sir. <laughs> and if you notice, I got my glasses on. Uh-oh, um, KC. You rocking contact? Oh, I'm so I'm blind. I just ain't. I ain't got neither one. <laughs> glasses broke. Waiting for them to come. Another new pair to come in seven days. Where you um? Where you get your glasses from? Um, some place, some eyeglass place. Look, you need to go online. There's a there's a spot where you can get like like very cheap eyeglasses, but they still look good. Like, hey, the trick is here's the kids to get the eyeglasses for free. You gotta pay for the lenses. Yeah, that's where you get you. I mean, Deanna used to go to this this site, and it was it was literally run like we get like three pairs of glasses for like seventy bucks. Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got. I think it's I called I, I, got, I, I, I buy direct or something like that. Yeah, I got my glasses were free with my insurance. Oh, okay. My lenses, my lenses, they were like fifty dollars each. Each lens. Yeah, each lens. Oh, each oh, lens. Oh, <laughs> yes. You don't have the. No, I had to get. You don't have the same. You know how to get a special. I had to get especially ones and with the charge for each lens. I'm like, well, y'all told me like, this price. Y'all didn't tell me this price per lens. What y'all doing? Is it you had to get like the blue light filter and, and all that stuff? Blue light and poly polyurethane or whatever it is. And mm. I got the insurance. So insurance. one too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, man? Hey. Just trying to live my best life. Living my no. best life. I'm my best life. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm speaking of um, life, um, Lil Duval will be here next weekend. Yeah. Lil Duval is there every weekend. No, yeah. <laughs> Not he usually in the Bahamas. 
on, on his island. He's <laughs> over here on Fourth of July weekend. Yeah. <laughs> He's always like, I'll be like following him and Henry Man. They be always at somebody's house in Jacksonville. Yeah, but yeah, he um he gonna be here with uh. It's so funny. It's, it's so funny because the thing said it said Lil Duval and Cisco, Cisco. and Drew Hill. Like, yeah. that's how you know it. That's how you know Drew Hill not really Drew Hill because they now <laughs> Cisco by himself and then they say Drew Hill. It's it's some random dude that's now part of Drew Hill. Mm. It's a couple of random dudes because yeah, yeah, Woody and um, the big big buddy they ain't with him no more. No, no, I don't think I don't think it's nobody that was originally in Drew Hill. <laughs> For real, bro. Last time, last time the man was on the Breakfast Club, it was it, he had two random dudes up there, and they were from some old school singing groups, like back in the day group that really ain't you probably know the group, like know the group, but you have no idea who those dudes are, like, and they were the new Drew Hill. <laughs> you can't just come up with a new Drew Hill. Yeah, that just doesn't work. Like you just can't do that. That's like having okay, we're the new boys to men. Yeah, we should we should just one year and boys to men. <laughs> no, we should. Matter of fact, we should just start go around singing all boys to men songs and say that we're boys to men. Boys to men, right? That's the same difference with what they do. <laughs> Y'all seen that show? Um, this is Pop on Netflix. Yeah, I watched it. I watched the Boys Man episode. Boys Man episode and the T Pain episode. Those are the only two episodes I was interested in. All the other ones had music and people I don't listen to. Yeah, I I, I know what you're talking about, but I didn't watch it. Hey, yeah, the was, Boys Man one was good. It was. It was. And like they they they, they really started the Boy Man thing. Yep. When we talking about watching stuff. Let me stop the show, did you? <laughs> uh, Flatbush yeah. misdemeanor. Yeah, Flatbush misdemeanor. <laughs> What is, this? <laughs> no. hey, this. what is it? What is it? Is it on YouTube? No. It's it's on, on, um, it's on stars Prime. or Stars or Showtime? I don't know. I think I'm watching on like Amazon Prime or something. It's, oh Lord. man, it's yeah. It's this like show, it's like two dudes. Cool. It's like this white dude and black dude, their best friend. <laughs> the black dude is like a struggling artist that has like depression. And he's doesn't he don't know anything, and then his white friend is a teacher who's not really a good teacher, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh man, it's a whole this yeah. He when he does like it come? It. When does it come on? Is it a, like a? Is it a, like a? It's a, a streaming show. series or yeah, it's a weekly show. Um, I don't know. I just stumbled across it. The, the episode that I, I don't even know how I started watching it, but yeah, it's episode, on Showtime. It's on Showtime. Showtime. The, the, on the end of the week or the beginning. What's up? They got, uh, It'll come they on got, the end of the week or the beginning of the week. Um, let me look it up. I think it airs. I think there's a new. New episode this week, if I'm not mistaken. And I've got the first eight episodes up, so I don't know how long oh, it's been on. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I was watching, matter of fact, I was watching the boxing last night, um, and it came on after that. And it was, they was uh, at school, and it was like cold white or whatever. And they was like, what's cold white? Oh. I feel like, I feel like that ain't nothing, you know. Cold white, white lie. It doesn't really mean anything. When he was, trying, like, <laughs> when he was trying to sell his his um, paintings. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude text him like, get out of the school. It's a bomb threat. Get out now. And he was just looking at the text like, and the other man was like, you okay? He was like, yeah, <laughs> hey, the end of that, the end of that scene was, they were like, they open up the door to the dude because they had a white, they got a white Marcus at, at the school, a black Marcus, and um, I think a Mexican Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was like, Marcus is locked in the lock in the in the closet and he's he's threatening with the bomb. And then when the police finally opened up the door, the police like going with his guns drawn and like, 
put your hands up, Black Marcus. It's white Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> but dude walks out the closet and was like, he walks out the little office where he had his picture. And he was like, like, where are you going? There's a bomb throw. He's like, man, I don't care. I don't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing at the school? Because his friend had let him use that that uh, multi-purpose room to display his art and try to sell it. Yeah. In the school. In the school, yeah. Oh, that yeah, show, that, that show was wow. That, that show, show sounds like a mess. It is hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. Speaking of, yeah, man. Speaking, of, speaking of what day it airs, um, Sunday, I know we talked about this a little bit after the show last week, but for everybody out there who's listening, please explain to Dez that according to the calendar, Sunday is the last day of the week, right? Yeah, Sunday is the last oh, day of the week. No, 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 no. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. Sunday is <laughs> See? Sunday is Bim, the, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sunday is the first day of the week. Sunday is the first day of the week. So, explain. Okay, we have a, we've been having a heated debate about this. So my opinion, Sunday is the last day of the week. And Monday is the start of the week. That's just my opinion because why would I start work on the second day of the week? That's Monday is the start of the work week. That's on the same path as as um, December is the year is the end of the calendar year. Yes, September is the end of the fiscal year. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just, it, it goes that's hand worse in hand. Than, that's worse but, than Sunday being the start yeah, of the week. It is, but it goes hand <laughs> in hand. The fiscal year is when all the business starts. So which month is Sunday, October or December? <laughs> <laughs> Sunday is October. Both of them are October. Cause they both end of the some end of something. So I'm 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 like so Sunday to me, Sunday is Sunday the is the end, end of the weekend, which is the end of the week. Sunday week is the end, end of the calendar week. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make the calendar sense doesn't at make sense at all. Cause I'm not gonna have a one day. No, nope. Look, not no Sunday will not be started. My week. Up, just pull up the calendar. Pull up the calendar on your computer. Yes, I understand. I understand it goes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But in reality, reality is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't care what you say. I will not start my week on Sunday. I don't care what you say. Sunday is the Monday is the first duty day of the week. Sunday is the first day of the regular calendar week. Sunday is the work week, I should say. You know who made this up? You know who made up this calendar? Who? United States and Europe. <laughs> you think on Europeans, United States and. <laughs> <laughs> United States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all of them, they always hey, wrong hey, about comment, something. Comment down below. <laughs> it's, it's United States is the proper term. <laughs> Go to the smart countries. They'll tell you that Sunday is the end of the week. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Don't get on me about that. I love this country. We just dumb as rocks. But <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we are. We are a lot I love of this country. country. <laughs> we a lot of things. <laughs> we got a lot of murder. Mm. Oh man, but yeah, I feel like Sunday. I feel like Sunday is the end of the week. And I feel like it's the end. What do you feel, Joe? It's definitely the end of the week. Um, Monday starts the week. My, Monday, Monday is when everything starts. Monday is the first day of practice. Monday is the, the first day of work. Monday is the first day of the week. You don't see Sunday night raw. But you do, see, but do you do? It's see, always Monday night, raw. Do see Sunday night football? It's Monday yeah, night. Football. The end of the week. 
No, football is the be. But Sunday is the is the first game of the week. Guess what? But they don't have nothing to do with the week though. Like, oh, no, don't. Why not? Because there's no there's no rule that says that football has to be played on the first day of the week. There's no rule that says football has to be played on Sunday. That's just the so way college, it does. college football is on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, because that's when all the kids have off, and that's the end of their week. Sunday is the end of their week. Nope. Monday yeah. is their first day back in class. Yep. Bim, they don't have classes on Sundays. That's the work. Bim. Day. Yeah. That's the work. School day. week. That's the work. How does school week start? Look at the school calendar. It says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Well, Nobody ever had, you know, Monday is the start of the week, bro. It's okay. It's okay. We're going to get a lot of um, our episodes. Our episodes drop on the first day of the week, which is Monday. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Watch you try, try to drop it. Watch you try to drop it tonight. To make it yeah, exactly. <laughs> our episodes always drop on Sunday. Y'all just see it nope. on Monday. It drops Monday morning. I get the notification on my phone early Monday oh, yeah. morning. Yeah, because it's because <laughs> it be yeah. like because usually it's like what? Um, no, no. Yeah. We record Sunday night and then I upload everything and it be and it be up by like ten o'clock, eleven o'clock on um, Sunday night. Every Your afternoon. time Sunday night. No. Your time. No. It actually be up early Monday morning. Shut up! It doesn't. <laughs> That's how I get my week started <laughs> with the fresh episode of You Look Like a Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Hey, so did y'all boy catch? Did y'all boys catch uh, the new Space Jam? Yeah, I watched bits and pieces. Yeah, I, while I was working, it was on I, in the background. I don't care. I don't care what people say. Everybody was saying that it was a horrible movie. These. 30, 40 year old saying it was a horrible movie. It's my kids my kids enjoyed it. And I actually enjoyed it a little bit. I did too. I I, I like it. It was what it was. It was yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was yeah, like, the first fake chairman in 1997. <laughs> most of the, most of us were teenagers watching that. So <laughs> and that was made for kids. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. it was a kids, a kids movie. And cartoons and Ron James and it was. Yeah. I like. It. I, I actually like. It. I, I I laughed a lot. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I was over there cracking up. I ain't even gonna lie. I was cracking up. <laughs> Definitely cracking up. Oh, and I and I got them. I got them Lebrons on order already. Really? For real, the ones he had on in the game. I found them. Yeah. You got the jersey too. Not yet. The Toon Squad. No. I want to get to the point where, because I be seeing all these celebrities who don't who haven't done anything in years. All of them all of a sudden get these LeBron packages, these Space Jam packages with like shoes and. and he went and, down his followers list and saw all, all of the check marks, and sent them. Yeah, we, did, we did, hey look, <laughs> we need to get verified. How do we get yeah. verified or Instagram? Yeah, we we definitely well, we gotta get some more followers on Instagram. That's oh yeah, that's yeah, we gotta hit a million. No, you can get verified before a million. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely get it before the million. Hundred. Got it. You just gotta do. You gotta do something to make everybody say, "Oh, wow, that's so and so." Yeah. Yeah. The fact that we don't have any half naked women on our Instagram makes it a lot, lot harder. A whole lot harder. (laughs) Um, (laughs) This is accurate. (laughs) If you want to be a half naked woman on our Instagram, in the comment. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, I like I like the, um, the comments real. <laughs> I like I like the um space jam. It was it was cool. It was good, yeah. but my um my daughter um Desi, she didn't like it. She was really? like Daddy. She was like, Daddy, why all of those cartoons on this? They're not supposed <laughs> to be on this show. Why is King Kong on here? He, he's not supposed to be on here. And the French stuff. I don't like hey, him. I, I kinda I kinda she, I like that part about it. Yeah, they, had, all, they literally had every Warner Brother character. Yeah. What's the cool in the audience? Was not happening. She wouldn't even watch it. She went in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they had Pennywise back there. They had like Dick Tracy. 
Um, <laughs> mask. The mask. <laughs> they had like all the characters. The Iron Giant back yeah, yeah. there. They even had the the, the characters from um from um um what's that? Thunder the Barbarian. Oh yeah, I remember that. They had that bootleg, that bootleg He Man. What you say, Joe? I said they had everybody in. I like um I like what's name character too. Um, Don Cheetah. Yeah, yeah, I like him. Yeah, I like him. That's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite actors. Don Cheeto. Yeah, Don Cheeto is one of my favorite actors. I was so glad they replaced Terrence Howard with Don Cheeto as War Machine. It's kind of messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence Howard is one of my least favorite actors. <laughs> I'm Iron Man. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Hey man, you need to pay me as much as you paying Robert Downey Jr., man. <laughs> yeah, he blew, he blew that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, you you don't want to do it? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you, you want more else. money? No, no <laughs> replace you. Don't worry. That mm. worked out for everybody. Yeah, I've been a fan of. Hey, oh, you know what I did? What I did wonder about the movie though? What? What? Like the characters, um, like how he. I felt like I felt like that's how um his son really feel like uh look uh, his, um, it was, it was what, what's his real son name um the second one uh, uh, uh what is the second one name um dang that's Bryce. bad we don't know Bryce Bryce yeah. that might be I mean but Bryce is still nice on the court yeah but it's like do he really want to he's nice on the court because his daddy is LeBron James, and if you're gonna go out there and play basketball, you see him. What, what was that? Between these lines, it's worth. Like, yeah, I see. I think that's really how he he be with them boys. Like, I think so too. Because you know, because so Bronny is definitely, Bronny is definitely a little two point He's gonna yeah. be a problem. Yeah, he's he gonna yeah. be a problem. But he's only like six two. Yeah, he getting tall. Dude. He's stretching out too. I'm like, dang. You know who's getting <laughs> tall but don't look tall? You know who's tall but don't look tall? Who? Dennis Scott's son. Who is Dennis Scott's son? Dennis Scott's son, um, he's like 13 years old. And he took a picture standing next to Dennis Scott. Dennis Scott's what, like 6'6? Six, six? Dennis Scott's like 6'8. His, mm -hmm. son, his son is taller than him. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and his and his oh, man. and his lights out from three point. But he's a he's a bit he played just like his daddy. He fat, like, he fat like his daddy. He's only fat. <laughs> he was chunky. He was only fat from the waist down. <laughs> yep, like his daddy. <laughs> Just like his daddy. Like it looks like he's moving in slow motion, but nobody can stop. Oh, how he's out? Oh, how didn't Scott stay on the court? But he, he couldn't guard he, nobody. Like he's lights out <laughs> free at 13, 14 years old. He's like six nine. You know these kids, man. It's, I don't know. I don't know these these new kids, boy. Something in the world. Yeah, they something. They something serious. Yeah, these new kids is just, just big for no reason, like. Yeah. Long. You see, you seen the 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 nineteen U, um, USA team? How they just destroyed everybody? They, yeah, because they got it. they got the, the real Slim Reaper on their team. Yeah, yeah, the little the oh, white dude, the white dude that's yeah, going to uh, like Gonzaga. Seven one, one hundred and twelve pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's like the number one player in the country or something. Yep. Yeah. Number one recruit like, going to play. He, play, he plays just like soccer. Kevin Durant. Yep. He played just like Kevin Durant. Mm hmm <laughs> Yep. He's like that whole team was a problem. Whole team. And they need to pull some of them up to the to the, the real USA team. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Who did they pick up? McGee and who was the other McGee, dude? Some. Some, some dude that played for the Spurs. Some dude at the end, <laughs> at the end of the Spurs bench. Did Pop nobody else want to come? Know, Pop, the only person that know him. <laughs> they need to go ahead so and confused. call. They need to go ahead. They should when them two spots became available. They should have called Braun and they should have called Melo and been like, "We need y'all." I don't, understand. I don't <laughs> understand why they don't. Why don't they don't have Melo? People are gonna stop disrespecting Melo. Melo probably don't even want to play no more for them. People are gonna stop disrespecting Melo because Melo, yeah, Melo's also going through a lot of personal stuff right now. Yeah. So Melo ain't thinking about the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Melo right I just seen him out there hooping with uh J. Cole at that 
I don't know where that gym is at. That everybody be they all be playing at. It's like some got real gym. mad that people got real mad that J. Cole had went over there and got on got on that African basketball team. Man, uh, let's 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 stop right. Let let's kind of segue right there. What you saying? Man. Why do people get so mad about what other people do other all people. the time, bro? Right? I have no idea. Because of the social media mm-hmm. age, because people just want to have a take and want people to care about their opinion. Like, why this is somebody mad said, about J. Cole doing something? This man just said that people were mad that J. Cole went and got on the Africa basketball team. What? What? Like, why would that? Why? I don't. I don't understand it, bro. Social media. This social media era era is, is crazy for real. Yeah. yeah. Like, it like was, people it, really just jump online to to hate on what other people are doing. Yep. Yeah. I. I just don't get it. Like they were. Right? They were talking. They was talking about how he stole stole a spot for somebody who was actually working hard for it. I guarantee you, he didn't just go over there and they like, okay, cool, you're on the team. He definitely. Well, he stole. Even if he stole somebody's spot, why do you care? Yeah, that's it wasn't your spot. That's real. Like you didn't like. Were you going nowhere to play? Like, (laughs) and I and and I don't even think he stole nobody's spot because I don't think so either. Yeah, somebody had the owners, the coach. Somebody had to be like, yeah, he can make the team. Like, yeah, yeah, put him on the on the squad. And he got over there, and the man put a light on them that probably would have never been shown on them exactly. ever. Exactly. Exactly. That whole league, like, like when when has anybody ever mentioned that league ever in life? He went over there and gave him a league. whole spotlight. Yep. Even though he went over there, averaged like one point two points a game. Yeah. <laughs> he was gonna go over there and ball, like hey. you know. He <laughs> hey, but he did, he did buy the whole team. New uniforms and and the whole team got like new shoes and all that. Yeah, yeah. So you know they were happy. But the thing about that, he does that in Africa, but he don't want to. He doesn't do enough. A lot of people that I talk to and that's from Fayetteville says he doesn't do enough for his hometown. I mean, Man, you can never do enough for your hometown. Here's my thing. Here's my thing on that. Doing like giving back to your hometown. Mm-hmm. Do it if you want to. If you don't want to, okay. That's not, like simple as that. Like, don't yeah. be mad at somebody who don't want to get back to their hometown. Maybe their hometown is trash, <laughs> and they don't want to deal with them. Like, hey, <laughs> Fayetteville is not known as Vietnam for a reason, for no reason. Like, <laughs> but, but what they what they want him to do? What they want? They they people people not going to be happy. With nothing that that he do, he can stand on the corner and pass out thousand dollar bills to everybody walking down the street, and they'll be like, "Well, why you ain't give them two thousand dollar bills?" Yeah. Well, why oh, you I... only stood on your street and did that? Why you ain't go across town and give them the money? Yeah. Like, why are you giving them free money, making them lazy? So I yeah. say that, like, bro, it ain't no. You can never, you can never satisfy. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, and it's it's crazy. But I can, t- I tell you right now. Y'all can quote this. Y'all can put it in in pen, whatever you want. If this ever blow and I blow, y- y'all can say what y'all want about Joe. Joe ain't, Joe ain't help. That's fine. But I bet Joe's family gonna be straight. Yep. Yep. I bet all of us. That's all be. that matters. Yep. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, that's who you know. what I'm saying that's who. That's who. That's who got Joe back. That's who got you know. It's us, our family. We gonna take care of the people that that take care of us. Care of us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I, uh, I, I would, I'm definitely gonna do something as far as like, you know, me and Dez, we already talked about this as far as putting together a football, a football team. Like that's the ultimate goal. I want to, so, I want to do a total, a total recreation center. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. We need, like, we need like you know those this. trailer parks behind, behind that was behind y'all house, and like, yeah, I, I've always wanted to buy up that land and build like a. Nice rec center over there, you know, with yeah. with the indoor pool where kids can actually go there and hone their skills. 
Yeah, yeah. I would love to 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 have a part, like you know what I'm saying, where we do a football, basketball, yeah. cheerleading, swimming, you know what I mean? Yeah. Tennis, baseball, you know what I'm saying? All yeah, of that. Huge part, huge yeah. recreational yeah, part. Doing, yeah. Doing all of that. Especially on the West Side, there's nothing like that on the West Side. Nah, it's so it's but it's so it's so many different you know what I'm saying, parks and organizations, yeah. you know what I'm saying, on the West Side. So you got, it's, it's, it's a lot of outlets, for dip, you know, when it comes to football, you got is true. 32 parks, you know what I'm saying, basketball, you got a couple a couple of teams going on like that. But it's not just necessarily one place, you yeah. know what I'm saying, where they got all those activities kind of kind of involved in it. But that would, that would definitely be the ultimate goal right there, like, that would in in a perfect world, you know that that's as far as as far as my giving back yeah, going. Yeah. Y'all think I'm that's something that we people. always talk about? We want to do like yeah. that ain't because peer pressure from people. No, nah, no, nah, that's nah. something that we want to do. Right. I don't care what anybody saying in the comment. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be that would be what giving back. If y'all think we finna go and open up a some I don't know something outside of that, it ain't gonna happen. Yep. <laughs> so you can go ahead and start hating in the comments now. <laughs> yeah. Just give it yeah. to us now. So we could yeah. so we could not care now. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely not. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It's because it's not going I don't I don't know, you know, you got some of these celebrities, people be going crazy based on these comments that people be saying about them. Man, listen. We not gonna care. Mm. We're not gonna care now because we, we, yeah, we don't care now. You know what I mean? We're, we're, I see. Like you say anything, if if anybody says anything about this podcast, it's publicity right now. It's free publicity. <laughs> I don't care what you're saying. If you say something negative, somebody's gonna go back and watch the video to see what we said to confirm it. Or if you say something positive, they're gonna go back and watch it to see what's so positive about the show. So anything that's said is is publicity, free publicity. Yeah. I welcome the hate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, what y'all got going on this week though? What's going on this week? What's coming up? Um this week, uh nothing, you know, wildlife boys, man, on the uh, uh Gainesville this weekend. Um, got two games down now. Uh, I forgot who we, they done changed the team so many times and who we supposed to play. Like, we we're supposed to play, um, Bay, uh, Bay Area Packers. Um, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, like, they got a little notoriety in the, in the, in the, in the are they, are, are they out of Cali? No, nah, they in, they, I think they in Tampa. It's Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we were supposed to play them. Um, we had West Orlando Jaguars. Um, it was another team from Georgia, but now I don't, I don't even know who they got on the schedule for us. But yeah, we're gonna be like in the all bank. these teams in the same league. They're all in the same league. Nah, nah. That's nah. why I'm confused. It's just starting to confuse me. Because the thing, the thing is, so all the basically like it's a bunch of different unlimited leagues. But they're all kind of affiliated with uh, Battle, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the year, Battle have the big Battle tournament for, for the national championship. Yeah. So even though like we're not in like we're in the River City, the, the new conference that they just opened up. Even though we're not, that's not like Battle League. If we ball out, we can still get an invitation to the Battle tournament. You know what I'm saying? So. But going down to these tournaments, these preseason tournaments, it's just to really get your name out there. Um, especially with us coming from Pop Warner, it's really just like, well, who is who is West Side? Like that's where everybody like, you know what I'm saying? So we just got to make a little noise. But if we win our, you know, our conference, then from there, you know, we get different looks. But, so battle is specifically just the Florida, Florida team thing, right? No. Battle, I think battle is all over. Yeah, I think it's nationwide. Yeah, yeah it is it. national. It's the national. It's yeah, the I'm national. 
the national championship is in the battle national championship, I believe, is in Florida. But battle is, yeah, it's all over. Okay. Man, they about to run Pop Warner out of the building. Yeah, even the um team I used to cook for or something, they went um they went to the youth that let it be. They went to unlimited. Them boys, them boys out there up there balling too. Pop Warner, Pop Warner, they had the unlimited, you know, they tried to do the unlimited thing, but Pop Warner was teaching too much. They was too concerned about improper, like they like the whole my whole problem with that was the players weren't allowed to get down in the three-point stand. Yeah, Pop Warner removed the three-point stand. I'm like, so weird. Removed the three-point stands and the play count. That was my least favorite thing about Pop Warner is having to concentrate on making sure everybody got what? Got eight plays or something. It was like eight plays. Yeah, eight, eight, eight to ten plays. Many. How many uh, kids you had on your team? And at at at, my, at Tiny Mike, it was I think everyone had to get like fifteen to eighteen plays. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm like at two points. Like, what were they trying to accomplish? Was it like a? Did they want to prevent they said it was kid safe. injuries they or something? Was, they said it was safer for the kids. I'm like, no, but that technique is never safer. It's not. It's not. Yeah, I, and I don't know. I don't know if it's like so. Yeah, it was so. It's like, um, it's like, but if you look at it though, a lot of a lot of college teams wasn't in three point stands like they offensive lines. That is true. Most of them, yeah, because yes. because it's in pass pass pro. Yeah, the defensive line is in the three point stand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they right, spread yeah, on the offensive line. They they just they the only one that's down. down. The only one that's down is the center. Yeah. But my thing is, when they implemented it, bro, you don't care. T- you don't coach all these kids up to get in the three point stand. Now all of a sudden, don't get in the three point stand. Yeah. Like what? what and how is that going to help them at the next level? How is that going to help them at the next level when they have to get in the three point stand? My thing is, my thing is the like, yeah, a lot of offensive line to be in the two point stands. You know what I mean? Give the give them time to be ready for the defensive line. But let the defensive line get down, like they're gonna be in every other level that they play on, they're gonna be in three point stands, three or four point stands. It's it's I mean, yeah, that and the play count. I hate play count. Yeah, and then Pop Warner, they wasn't um like when they was doing the unlimited, it was still you had to play like Pop Warner team, so you couldn't like play different conferences and things like that. Yeah. So that, that's that's pretty much hurting them, man. Like it's still pop one here in Jacksonville, but it's gonna it's like not it's not it's, it's for like honestly it's for like if you just want your kid to play football, you know, they just oh I want to play football. Okay, you go play at one of those parts. Yeah. Because uh yeah. Because they got oh. like like up here here. I don't even think they. I think they do have a pop Warner, a pop Warner league here on the island, but they also yeah. they have this other league called Gridiron Football. And them boys are unlimited. Them boys, that's the team that all the NFL players who came out of Hawaii have played for. Like the team, yeah. that, the team that Joe's going to be playing for next year. Um, the Tua brothers um, played for, played for them. Yeah, yeah the Tua brothers right. played for them. So it's like they put out. Like these boys is these boys are something serious. Yeah, they man, that was the first thing they said and we the meeting I went to, buddy said, Listen, we build an our team to win. Yep. If, you know what I'm saying? If you if you wanna if you just playing out here playing football, you go to one of these other parts. Like I think the minimum play is four plays. I don't mm-hmm. even know if they have a minimum play, honestly. You know what I mean? It just, it just sucked because at the last minute we have to like, hey, you need somebody to Hey, you want to come count plays? Just pulling random people out there. That's the worst job ever. Yeah, especially when it's a close game. Yep. Somebody ain't got they keep they got they play count. And somebody walk up to me like, hey, you need to play. We used to get we used to get people we used to get people in early. Like, we're gonna get all y'all who don't know what you're doing. 
They're going to get all y'all plays this first half. My first year coaching, Pop Warner, we had a whole number two offense with mandatory play. Like with, with yeah. eight, we call it the eight play to. offense. We got to. We put them in like in the middle of the first quarter. Four and to. out. Four and out. Yep. That was it. Man, that happened to, that happened to us when we were in the playoffs. They straight, I'm talking about they did us dirty. We had a we had a whole offense like that. And it was like a one point game, like you know what I'm saying, or one touchdown game, something like that. And start of the fourth quarter, ref came up like, oh, they play sheet say this. Like it the play sheet, the the play counts wasn't even matching what we had versus what the mm-hmm. other team had. Yeah. And they straight went with the, what the other team had. They was like, nope, these kids need plays. We like, bro, we got them checked. They done had they played. He was like, nope. They paperwork say they need plays. Like, oh, they I'm, right. it stopped the game. Like the game stopped for like a whole like 10 to 15 minutes. Like they were having a whole full blown argument out there about that. And the refs was like, nope, that ain't what they they should say. So get them in. Yeah. Like, bro. But I'm so glad I'm away from that now. I don't know if I'm. I don't know if I had to have the nerves or the patience to coach um, football. I don't know. I might like to coach real competitive tackle football. You got the patience. You do. Like when um when Joe goes up next year, because Deanna says thinks that I shouldn't be coaching him. You shouldn't. But I'm. I I I. I disagree. I dis anybody who say if hold on wait if you can coach you yeah, should. Yeah. Um, if you can coach you can if you can coach a team with your son on it you're you you're a good coach like you can it, it's possible yeah. I've seen that happen like and I've I've had dudes who who their son was like probably the best player on the team mm-hmm. and they actually down coach their son like like. Like, well, not down coaching, but their playing time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To try to please everybody. I used to be looking like, boy, if you don't give your son the ball, the next 18 plays, like, I don't yeah. care what nobody else saying. Yeah. He's the best player <laughs> on the team. You know what I mean? So, you, there are coaches. I've, I've coached with uh, a few coaches who have, whose sons are, are really good, but they, you know, they, they please the crowd. They kind of, they don't want them to be like, oh, you coaching daddy ball. Look. But. I've coached with a coach who son was probably number 19 on the depth chart. And he coached his son like he was number one on the depth chart. And it was horrible. It was <laughs> yeah, horrible. Right. See, here's the thing. You got to be an honest coach. You got to be an honest yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah, coach yeah. yeah. definitely. You have to be honest. Yeah. Like You cannot yeah. have a false sense of reality coaching your son. And a lot of people, a lot of these people, who see, with me, I know, I know Joe's. I know Joe's ability. I know what he can do. I know where he's, where he's strong at and where he's weak at. And I'm not going to put him in a position that's going to mess mess up the team. You know what I mean? Like last last year, like not last year, but um, when we coached, and it's just flat football, I'm like, he needs to get the ball as much as possible. I wasn't even a real coach. I was just a helping parent. And I would next thing you know, the coach is the, the coach has me on the field like, hey, you want to get on the field and coach? I'm like, get your badge and coach, bro. Look, that's and I'm now I'm I'm the official head coach for the team. And um we finna with the team that we have, we finna go undefeated again and hurt some feelings. I, I definitely would say coach. I say do it. Even if you cook like <clears throat> to start. To, to to see how you would like it, I would say, okay, if he go, if you want him to play running back, coach coach defense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be it be the defensive coach. So if he's starting, if he's gonna be the starting running back, okay, yeah. let him go over there with the offense. Even if he plays right. defense, you know what I'm saying? You have him for a little bit. But just to just to kind of just to kind of get a look at it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then go from there. You know what I'm saying? If he hey. If if he if he the rawest one on the team, it don't matter who who his daddy is. Yeah. The coach like yeah. this say you got to have an honest coach to be like he need to have the ball. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think that's. Hey, I coach. I coach my son. His um 
first year ever playing football was in high school, ninth grade. I coached him, and he started. He started out in my position field, defensive line, and ended up on the O line. <laughs> I after because based on talent and body type, yeah, he couldn't play D line. Yeah, and I had to be honest. I had to be honest with him. Like, hey, he definitely got that that low center of gravity. Yeah, I like you. Got to go play O line. <laughs> you gonna get bigger, and you, you you ain't got the you ain't got the three point stand to play D line. <laughs> but yeah. You like that, man? Yeah, I told him you gotta be a dog. You gotta be a dog to play D line. Yeah, you ain't got a dog in him. Nasty. That's, that's, a nasty. Nasty. that's a nasty position right there. <laughs> yeah, D line is the nastiest position. They think O line is nasty. Nah. <laughs> Eli, you gotta do what it takes to win that line scrimmage. Man. Well, fellas. Yeah. Yeah, what else y'all got going on? This is a very open um episode, episode 30. We're at episode 30. 30, bro. Man, that's, we made it 30. Crazy. Episode that's 30. almost <laughs> that's almost prostate check time. <laughs> That's crazy. Ten more episodes, we gotta get prostate exam. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I still ain't got a prostate exam. Hey, <laughs> get that check, Edric. Go bend over that check. Hey, look. Um, I'm gonna get it when I when I need it. You only got the blood test now. You ain't gotta get finger bang. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> <laughs> on that note, oh man, hey. episode thirty. Oh. <laughs> hey man, I'm going out with a finger bang. <laughs> oh no! <Lord. laughs> this is a hey. joke. <laughs> well, episode 30 man <laughs> like a podcast you know what to do make sure y'all like subscribe hit the bell oh, the up, drop a comment you know what I mean let us know what y'all thought about the episode uh, you know like we said we, we open our ideas man oh I think hold on somebody put in the comments oh I just had he put uh, there was a comment that said history of the president um, Mr. Brad Sims, I'm not sure if you wanted us to do an episode on the history of the presidents. Yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand what that, what that was. Uh, it's you know, I, I can sum that up real quick. Um, Obama was the greatest president ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, if, I don't know if that's what you wanted, you know, so you know, drop us another comment and we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll history of the presidents. Which yeah, president, man. like president of the United States or the president of Amazon or what? History <laughs> <laughs> um, president. Well, yo, man, y'all, y'all let us know what's going on, man. Make sure y'all follow the Facebook page, you Look Like a Podcast, Instagram page, you know, everything that you look like a podcast. Yeah. Start dropping them hashtags, man. Y L L A P. On the big norm. Shout out to the lookers, man. We growing. What y'all looking at, yeah. man? Probably they growing up. Hey, look, look, up. look. We at we at what eight, like eight ten, something like that. Yeah, yeah. We done hit. We done, we done crossed over the eight hundred mark. So we, we, we okay. up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We moving. We moving right along. But y'all know we oh, giving y'all. I'm episodes. sorry. I'm sorry. I under. I I under. We are at eight twenty. Eight twenty. Oh, 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 Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 820, we moving. Hey, we moving. Oh, man, 820. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what it is. Hey, but y'all, you know, drop some comments, man. Let us know what's up. Uh, you know, we're doing 100 episodes in 100 weeks. Yep. That's the goal. But we're going to keep going after that, too. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? But let us roll. And we might have a few, we might have a, a, a few, like, special spinoffs and special special episodes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Don't be on the lookout. Matter of fact, I'll be on the lookout. Um, wait, it's going. We're gonna do uh, why 
Wild and Out Way Back Wednesday stories. So y'all be on the yeah. list for that on Wednesdays, you know what I mean? Just, just, just drop something on there for y'all. Um, you know, to kick it with us and just give y'all something else to look at with us. Um, tap in, man. Let us know what's up. You look like a podcast. Long yep. live Big Norm. Long live Big Norm. As always, man, I appreciate y'all. Man, shout out to the rest of the game, man. Shout out to Dana. Shout out to that boy Siddiqui. You know what I mean? Jumped on last week with us, man. You know, just shout out to the whole team. Yeah. And, uh, you look like a podcast. Yep. Yeah.